Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and six new weapons were just released in Call of Duty World War II a few days ago, but now we have not six, but 13 brand new weapons and a ton of other really cool stuff found in the files of the most recent update, so we are going to be checking out that kind of stuff. But for right now, just really quick, starting on 420, Sledgehammer kicks off the new Blitzkrieg event, which is somewhat similar to the Black Ops 3 community events, but there are some differences in here. And Sledgehammer talks about this in their most recent blog post update, but I'm going to summarize it really quick for you guys. So everyone is going to have to work together in order to complete each tier and claim the prizes in the mail post. The goal is to hit 75 million contracts and orders, and the way you participate is by completing as many contracts or orders as you possibly can and after each tier is finished every player that signed in for that day is going to receive a special prize however if you don't log in before that prize was open you will not receive it so make sure to check the mail post every day and see where the little meter is at at all times but if you're wondering what the prizes are i got them right here for you guys so starting at tier one we have a emblem called clip and then for tier two we have a calling card called the eagle gunner and then for tier three is a weapon charm called bang and then for tier four is a special helmet called the m1 ammo reserves and then for tier five is a grease gun variant called the rosy two and again this is what we get when we hit 75 million contracts and orders so guys that's all i have to say about the blitzkrieg event again it's going to be starting tomorrow on 420 of all day so be on the lookout for that now we're going to be talking about the 13 new weapons that were found in the files and credit goes out to lacking a good name for finding this and uh, we have three rifles five smgs two lmgs and two snipers and then one melee so the weapons are the kg m21 we have the zk 38.3 next so guys the next few weapons are pretty hard to say but i'm gonna try my best so the next weapon on the list is called the austin which is somewhat similar to the Sten, but it's the australian version and then next up here we have the biekowek which is a poland smg and it does look really small, really compact, somewhat similar to the grease gun. And then here we have the Boiskova, which does happen to be another Poland SMG. And then next up here we have the EMP-44, another submachine gun. And then you snipers are really going to love this. So the two snipers we have here are the Mosinagon and the PTRS-41. Very, very iconic snipers in Call of Duty history and also during World War II. And then next up is the Delisle, which is a sniper rifle that has a suppressor attachment on the weapon. So... Maybe this is going to be one of the first rifles that will allow a suppressor on it. And then here we have the Carcano, another bolt action sniper rifle. And then here in the code, the next weapon is called the sword. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be the new melee weapon. You can use a sword in zombies, so I'm pretty sure they're just going to port over the same code into multiplayer. And the next up is the Ruby Rollers. And then lastly, here we have the Chatter Rolt, which is a French LMG. So definitely some very, very funny names to say. And yeah, guys, these are the 13 new weapons that are going to be coming to World War II very, very soon here. Now, also, one more thing. We have another division called the Commando Division. And not too much information has came out on this new division because it's all still in works, obviously. But uh, they do have a few information that is posted on the little Reddit post. So if you guys want to go check it out, you can. But in the actual code that Lacken found, there are some things that kind of suggest this division is going to be tied together with a basic training that acts kind of similar to the specialist package from Modern Warfare 3. If you guys remember that Sledgehammer did develop Modern Warfare 3 or help develop multiplayer for that game. So it really wouldn't surprise me if this is true. So uh, for example, in the basic training, if you get a total of 5 kills, that will give you basic training number 1. If you get a total of 10 kills, that gets you to basic training number 2. And then a total of 15 kills will obviously get you to basic training number 3. Now each tier will more than likely have their own personal set of basic trainings. And then when you move up to the next total kill streak, you get another package and yeah this sounds really really good in my honest opinion it pretty op if you ask me but we are gonna have to wait and see how this plays out and if it does actually make it into the final cut and then actually here guys we have some dlc 3 information on the war map and apparently it's gonna take place in tunisia north africa and uh, some of the information is more than likely going to change but right now the uh, placeholder objective modes are capture the flag hold a hard point and then destroy an objective and then next up here guys we do have face camos that are going to be coming into the game and uh, we did see the last of this was back in black ops 1 uh, but i really would like to see face camos make a return i think it does add a whole new style and definitely more customization to your character 
And yes, yeah, some very, very cool stuff here in this new update, guys. That is going to be coming out very, very soon here. A lot of new weapons, a lot of more customization features that are going to be on the way. So definitely be on the lookout for that, guys. So if you want to go check out the entire post, guys, I'm going to have it down below. And yeah, tell me your thoughts about it down below. Also, drop a like if you felt to enjoy the video. And thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.